Hello everyone, Vita Z for you back with another review. This is the Legends branded Day of the Dead deck of cards. This is actually on Kickstarter before as a bicycle Day of the Dead deck, but it did not make it and was picked up by somebody, I don't know who, other than they're going by Digital Innovations, and they produced them. And you can get these at DOD playingcards.com use the code get20 and get 20% off your order there's also another failed deck the Houdini Seance deck of cards which is also on Kickstarter once or twice it was not successful picked up by the same people and available at Houdini playingcards.com again get 20 get you 20% off and hipster playing cards which has a branded and unbranded deck uh, is available at hipsterplayingcards.com. Again, get 20. We'll get you 20% off your order. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any way to combine them all. But it's pretty interesting that these decks that fail on Kickstarter being picked up by somebody and produced. And all by printed by Legends Playing Cards. Uh, again, this one, Legends branded. It's got some orange foil. Let me focus there. On the front of the box, it says Legends Premium Playing Cards on top. Funny how it's bicycle styled, as you can see, Legends. And it says Day of the Dead in orange foil. At the very bottom in orange foil, it says Dia de las Muertas, which is Day of the Dead in Spanish, and it's celebrating. It's a, it's a, a, a Spanish-Mexican holiday, and there's a lot of decks related to it. <laughs> There's the Muertos, there's Dia de los Muertos, and that is this one. And there's also a Bicycle Day of the Dead from Collectible Point Cards, which you can get at CollectiblePointCards.com right now. Use the code VTZ32 and get 10% off your order. And also Dia de los Muertos is on there as well, I believe. And Calaveras is another Day of the Dead themed deck that's available there as well. Anyways, on one side it says Day of the Dead. Some artwork, add some horns foil. The other side, same thing. Top, again, Day of the Dead, under the seal. Bomb, there's a barcode, there's a QR scan code, again, it says Deck Checker. Uh, I've tried to scan that and I can't seem to scan it, but usually it just takes you to a Legends Point Guard website, nothing major about it. The back, you see basically the back design of the cards, kind of looks like a big snap the way they did it, but it's pretty interesting, colorful skulls and details. The seal has a flare de lis. For some reason, it is kind of faded. I don't know if that was intentional or accidental, but it just looks a little bit odd. Nothing on this flap, but here we got a couple little details. Then we get to the cards. Inside there is an ad card that says Day of the Dead, designed by V. Tran, who is actually from Canada. And it says, Thank you for your support and making this deck possible. DODPlayingCards.com, like I mentioned, you can go there and get this deck. And there's some nice details on there. On the other side, it actually says Day of the Dead. And it shows you the court cards, spades, hearts, diamonds, clubs, and also the jokers. Which you can also see on the website. You do get a double backer. The back design is pretty nice. Pretty uh, thin borders. You got a couple of colorful decorate, decorative uh, skulls of flowers all over. And there's flowers all over the back design. It looks kind of like a groovy back design <laughs> pretty cool jokers you get this girl there's an upside down J on her forehead as well as all four pips she's got dark makeup dark hair it says joker in black in the two corners she even has a black rose the other joker appears to be the same girl this time she's more colorful she's got an upside down jester joker head on her forehead as well as all four pips joker in black again this time she's got a blue and red flower so it's kind of like a contrast between like dead and alive almost. <laughs> nice images. I don't know if these are actual people and that they may be uh, photoshopped or if they're actually hand drawn. I don't really know. The Ace of Spades has got orange colors to it and a little orange spade pip. It's got a skull on it. And it's got a bit of a black spade pip in the background behind the skull as well. Nice big index. And at the very top, it says Dia de los Muertos. And the bottom says Ace of Spades, Day of the Dead. 
This is a very colorful, interesting spaceship. It also has a white border on the faces. Uh, on the that will be on the jokers, the court cards, and the aces, and kind of the number cards as well. The ace of hearts is in red. You see a couple of red hearts on there, including one behind the skull. And it says ace of hearts on the bottom. The ace of clubs is in purple. Again, you see the club pip in the background. And a little one above that. And again, it says ace of clubs on the bottom. And then the ace of diamonds. It's got the diamond pips on there. It's got green coloring. And it says ace of diamonds on the bottom. This one, for some reason, has the letter A in white instead of red. It doesn't match the ace of hearts. And it doesn't match the other aces. So it seems a little bit off. I don't know if that was intentional or if that was a screw-up. It was probably a screw-up. But I don't know. And actually, I'm noticing also the a diamond pip that you see here. It doesn't quite match this diamond color, whereas the hearts and the other ones do. Aside from the ace of spades, it has a orange pip. Now we're going to look at the court cards. I'm going to show the court cards differently than what I usually do. I usually just do random court cards. This time, I'm actually going to show you Jack Queen King in every suit, starting with spades. Just so you can see that there's a similar theme and flowers and colors per suit. So there's your spades. We even got similar, I mean they got they all got like a rose. And similar color schemes. That's the hearts. Clubs, purple backgrounds. These ones got red backgrounds. Spades got orange backgrounds. He's got the purple backgrounds and kind of colorful flowers. And then diamonds got green backgrounds. Now I'm just trying to point out that you know the similarities within each suit on the court cards from the faces, the face makeup, the flowers, etc. etc. Number cards, beautiful custom pips, big custom indexes, although as some will point out, they're way too in for some usability. I mean you fan them out can't see any indexes so it's not too good in that respect but um that's because of the white borders and you can see on the faces they actually have details it actually matches what you see on the back design of the cards just faint but it's in there it's a little bit different but it's more or less what you see on the back design just a smaller scale sort of a thing but it's pretty cool there's your spades hearts nice custom pips clubs and diamonds that's what you get for the deck again it is a legends playing card deck it's got a linen type finish and a good stock handles nice I like it uh, as far as the art is concerned, for this deck, I will give it a rating of 4 out of 5. I can't find too much wrong with it. Maybe mirror image court guards or different court guards would have been better. And, and then there's always the issue with the indexes not being too good, where they are. But overall, it's pretty nice. Colorful, vibrant. Uh, as far as handling is concerned, I will give it uh, I'll give it a four out of five. It's panel's pretty good. I like Legends decks. And as far as the theme is concerned, I think it's pretty well done. Uh, I'll give it a four and a half out of five. I think it fits nicely, it's good, good theme. I'm not too sure why this one did not do better on Kickstarter. It did not do well at all, that I can recall. But um, it's nice to see some of these decks that aren't too bad, like this one, and the Hipsters and the Houdini deck actually get produced by somebody and sold. I don't know if it's Legends that's doing that. If it's somebody else through Legends, I really don't know. But hey, they're available. Use the code GET20 on the different websites to get them. That I mentioned before, HoudiniPlayingCards.com, HipsterPlayingCards.com, and DODPlayingCards.com. For this deck, by the way, the overall, I would say, 
four out of five. It's pretty cool. Um, that's what I got. Definitely though, I mean, if you're really looking for a good Muertos themed deck, I definitely like the actual Muertos playing cards. You can notice five different decks. The Bicycle Dia de los Muertos is also not bad. This is not bad. And the uh, Calaveras is pretty nice as well. Uh, from Dead on Paper, that one. And I mean, there's, 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 they're all pretty cool. So that is that. I will see you next time. Hopefully, whoever is producing this doesn't start picking up all sorts of other random decks that fail that are failed because they're crap. I mean, if a deck fails and it's good, hey, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Get it produced somehow, some way. But if a deck is crap, I don't want to see it produced. Anyways, that's that. See you next time.